Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe. If you guys have a Hyundai Santa Fe, you have engine light on and you have any of the following codes, such as code P001, 002, 003 or 004, any of these four codes, we will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. Now, you can see the engine is out of the car. You don't need to remove your engine guys to fix that. We have it out because we'll be making a bunch of videos that can potentially save you guys thousands of dollars. So let's explain what can cause these codes now. So this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show you how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so now guys this is the engine that we have here 2.4 GDI out of a 2013 model Hyundai now before we start I want to tell you something most of you guys constantly ask me in the comment section below to share diagnostics too that we use guys and what is good on the market because it's flooded with all, all kind of tools this is the one that we recommend guys and I'll put the link in the description of the video below it can pay itself off in one time use guys it's amazing tool that works on almost any car you can think of you can see it's amazing amazing tool and uh, we constantly use it on a daily basis Hyundai is right here if you want to learn more about it functions check out the link in the description of the video below now if you get any of these codes guys you need to remove your upper engine cover on your hand there. when you do that guys okay you're going to come up to that device which is known as a high pressure fuel pump you have a low pressure fuel pump in the fuel tank you have a high pressure pump okay on the engine the low pressure fuel pump brings the fuel to this pump the high pressure pump will be driven by the camshaft right here uh, by the spinning it will pump the uh, you can see it has that spring so it will make it go up and down and that will create pressure and the direct fuel injection will be f will be uh, supported by this high pressure fuel pump now on that high pressure fuel pump guys okay all the things that you have on it let's explain now okay you're going to have a low pressure fuel line high pressure fuel line a wiring harness guys the problems with having any of these codes guys okay is most likely having a wiring harness that's bad for the volume sensor this is the sensor that detects if the pump is getting enough fuel and uh, need uh, things that you need to check make sure that the wiring harness is not broken not plugged not corroded or you don't have engine oil inside the connectors another thing just pull it out inspect it guys and i'll recommend to make sure that you don't have bent okay bent wire or anything like that or corrosion uh, and if that doesn't fix the problem guys it's very likely that you have a bad sensor here and the only way okay to practically guys uh, replace that thing in most cases it's the whole fuel pressure assembly but if you replace the high pressure fuel pump never forget guys to replace the tappet because on hard mileage engines if those things fail it can destroy your engine and they're not very expensive so we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can purchase one from if you want to see how to remove and replace the pump we have a special video on the channel that explains how to do that so please check it out hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find this information thank you for watching and see you next time